Hello, this is Rita, and I like to look up sold items on eBay and share my findings with my eBay friends on YouTube. Uh, I've got a dog here hanging out, so if you hear some strange sounds in the background, that would be him. Anyway, if you find this sort of video helpful, I hope you'll like it, and I hope you'll subscribe so that you can subscribe to the channel so that you can see other videos like this and uh, please feel free to make a comment if you have information to share or if you want me to cover uh, a different type of item I'll be happy to do that on my next video alright so yesterday we uh, looked at ties that had sold and uh, one of them that came up was this one uh, it was part of a lot of Beatles ties three Beatles ties that went for a lot of money and I noticed it was a Andy Warhol print or at least it looks like it is uh, they didn't advertise it that way in the listing but I believe that's an Andy Warhol and so I thought today it'd be kind of fun to look and see how much Andy Warhol items sell for on eBay see, if you hear dog breathing that's not me it's the dog <laughs> so anyway get rid of that picture and go to eBay so Andy Warhol, there's 23,930 items or results that come up and uh, we're going to filter out all the listings, things that are still available. We're just going to look at what has sold and we're going to do uh, used with 1,844 items. Uh, just do a quick, quick look here, just what comes up recently we got a Playboy magazine with an Andy Warhol uh, type uh, photo on the front we got an art monograph we've got another Playboy we've got an Andy Warhol a retrospective by McShine, Keniston, Rosenblum, Robert and Buchlon that must be a book Hardcover book from 1990 went for 1007. Many faces of Andy Warhol vinyl mini series. Okay, that's interesting. Fourteen dollars plus shipping. Just some toys and uh, Andy Warhol presents Flesh for Frankenstein, a DVD. $23. So you can see you can get some money for uh, a lot of things. Andy Warhol pen, Japanese magazine pop art issue, 2006. So we'll get a magazine here. Went for $24. Wow. <laughs> and collector's item. Now let's uh let's sort by highest price plus shipping and see how much things can go for. Okay, we've got first an Andy Warhol rare vintage 1986 lithograph print collector's pop art poster Aretha, so an Aretha Franklin uh poster in the Andy Warhol style. Let's see if it's signed or anything. I don't see anything about it being signed. It's just an offset lithograph print. This is good here. We should read this. Andy Warhol, uh, who died in 1987, is one of the singularly most well-known contemporary artists of all time. His imagery is recognized worldwide. His infamous life, artworks, and creative endeavors are like no other artist. He is recognized as the very first artist to use common everyday objects and view them in a completely different way while paying homage to their role in our society. Glorifying the common as the beautiful, his technique utilizing a silk screen method combined with hand finishing and a signature palette of vibrant color hues make the work stand out stand on its own and loved by millions. So fifty four hundred dollars for best offer. So somewhere around fifty four hundred dollars. 
somebody got for this Aretha Franklin poster by Andy Warhol. Lithograph. Pretty good. To be honest, I don't really like this kind of art. I'm kind of a impressionist kind of person. I don't like modern art too much, but hey, if I found it, I'd sell it to somebody that does like it. Original Andy Warhol, 1967, Lincoln Center Ticket, FS2, 19, acrylic poster, number 22 out of 200. So that means only 200 of this poster were made, and you've got number 22 of the 200, so that's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, the dog wants to go out. Can you wait a minute? <laughs> I've already taken him outside. He just wants to get out of this room. Yeah, lay down there. That's a very colorful ticket. $5,000. Okay. Here's Andy Warhol. Why do you have to breathe on us? American Indian Series, black, 1976 poster. This one signed, $4,000. Let's see if we can find the signature. So we'll all know what an Andy Warhol signature looks like. Got it? Because not all this stuff is easy to recognize. That's kind of a weird painting or poster. It almost reminds me of blackface, which is definitely uh, not is not popular all right I'll let you out hold on guys I gotta let the dog out of this room or he's gonna be breathing on me forever have any of you guys ever found Andy Warhol um, items oh geez I can't open the door <laughs> have you ever found stuff like this and did you find expensive stuff or cheap stuff Okay, next, we're going to look at Stephen Sprouse 1998 Andy Warhol Collection Sequin Evening Gown. Oh my goodness. $4,000. Wow. If you saw this at the thrift, would you know what it was? Whew. I wouldn't. Jeez. size medium, but you can't buy it because somebody already did. <laughs> and the name on the title here is uh, Sprouse, S-P-R-O-U-S-E, and then it has Andy Warhol over it. My thrift store would see Andy Warhol and they would immediately put it in their online store. They would, that would never make it out on the floor, not in a million years. This one looks like it has a tag. Like a. I don't know what that tag is. Oh, made in Italy. It's just a. I thought it was a sales tag. Okay. So let's see what else we have. Andy Warhol Foundation Rare Vintage Framed Pop Art Poster Print Flowers 1964 1967. So what is it? <laughs> Life is a series of images that change as they repeat themselves. That's true. $150 shipping. What? It must be big. Excellent night. Like new condition. It's a poster. Light signs of handling. Brand newly custom framed and has never been displayed. So it's big. With a frame. Okay. $22.50. That's $150 shipping. Crazy. That'd be quite something to have in your hallway or something, wouldn't it? All right. Campbell Soup Paper Dress. Andy Warhol. Ha! <laughs> $1,990. Or best offer. Plus $48.75 shipping. Ha ha ha. Yeah, you'd make a splash. With that dress. Boy, I've never seen anybody with a dress like that. No cleaning, no washing. It's carefree, fire resistant, unless washed or cleaned. To refresh and press lightly with warm iron. Cellulose and cotton material. 
so you can't wash it. Oh, no sweating. $19.90, $48.75 cents shipping. Paper dress. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, now we got a 1981 Andy Warhol dollar sign. Huh. Rug. Six feet by nine feet. Contemporary. You don't say. $1,100 plus $176.77 shipping. That's pretty cool. I might buy that. That'd be a great conversation piece. I mean, I wouldn't really, like, in real life buy it, but if I had money, I'd buy that. I think. Maybe for the basement. <laughs> That's in good shape. Okay, now we got Aspen Magazine. $1,275 or best offer, free shipping. This item, this is an item that I originally subscribed to in the glorious 60s. It has been in storage since 1968 and I just found it while going through an old trunk. I did look through everything back then and played the records. Never watched the film. As far as I know, this should be a complete set with all original material. I don't really still understand what it is. It's an original magazine. There might be more than one. I can't tell. I think there's more than one. Oh, wow. It's more than a magazine. It's film? Unless that's part of the magazine? I don't know. Anybody know? Comment below. Okay. Okay, here's another one. Aspen Magazine. 3 December 1966, Andy Warhol, pop art issue, fab, complete in box. So fab was a detergent. I don't know if that's what this is supposed to be like, or... Mm -hmm. There's a snowboard. And it has something to do with Andy Warhol. Plush Safe Me Sink. Or something like that. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Burton snowboards are pretty good. I, I had one I was going to sell. I think I still have it. Ha! <laughs> I don't know if I ever got it listed. $1,025 for this snowboard with... Andy Warhol stuff on it. There's another Aspen magazine. Uh, original 1968 Andy Warhol banana cover, the Velvet Underground, and Nico LP vinyl NM. $799.99. Do you get the record too? Looks like it's just the cover. Oh, the record is near mint. All right. Well, there's another Andy Warhol signature. That other one was different, so maybe I had it wrong. Maybe that was something else. There's another one, another banana. Okay. I don't know what that is. Okay. Shoes. Berluti Andy Warhol Demesur Loafers. Luxury Paris Bespoke Quality. I think bespoke usually means custom made. So it's going to be really good stuff. That's okay when you see that on the bottom. You can see they got those little taps on the um, heels to keep them from getting worn out. Always a good idea when you're buying expensive shoes, which I never do. La la la. Okay. Andy Warhol first entered Bouloudi in 1962. Fascinated by the savoir-faire of the Maison, he ordered a pair of loafers from Talbinio Berluti, but 
Olga. Oh, I can't read it. It's too small. But Olga secretly undertook to make another pair of shoes from the hides she could find. She designed a truly modernist pair of loafers, but the hide she used had a flaw. A large vein running through the apron of one shoe. Olga explained to him that this pair was not like any other, and that the leather she had selected came from a subversive cow that liked to scratch herself on barbed wire. Andy Warhol understood immediately that this uncommon element made this pair of shoes completely unique. He loved the surreal nature of the plan, saying that, From now on, I only want shoes made from the hides of subversive cows. This style was avant-garde in 1962 and still looks completely contemporary today, remaining a symbol of Maison Berluti visionary creativity. Later, we worked with the evolutions of the Maison collection and lasts. The Andy Loafer is an emblematic Berluti shoe. Okay, so there's a couple things in there. You know, Berluti. That sounds like a, probably going to be a good name. Maybe we'll study that one day. And wow, I can't believe that lady sold him a jacked-up pair of shoes and passed it off as a, a subversive cow shoe. But that's what goes on. <laughs> what are you going to do? If I found a pair of Ber Berluti Andy shoes, I'd sell them too. I'd grab them up and sell them so fast, it'd make your head spin. There's another one. I wonder if that's the same shoe. Well, how many could they possibly have? Look, there's another one. All different dates of sale. No, two on the 19th, one on the 18th. I think something might be wrong there, but who knows. All right, here is Andy Warhol Torso's 1977 exhibition poster. Hmm. That's not my thing. <laughs> $600 are best offer. Okay, ah, oh, Chanel number no. 5 poster, set of four pop art Andy Warhol, 97, 22 by 29 vintage French, $550 plus $50 shipping, used unframed, linen backed. So, it's a big, big poster. $550. Chanel is another big name, if you haven't heard it before. Another one that would be good to do a study on. Here's Aspen Magazine again, so burn that into your mind, that Aspen Fab magazine. And Mont Blanc. That's a big pen company. They sell expensive pens. Great Characters. Andy Warhol Fountain Pen Limited Edition. $550. Or best offer. Plus $14.35 shipping. Oh, that's pretty. So, must have some kind of Andy design on it. Ooh, that's very intricate. You know, it takes some expertise to be able to produce these these items. I mean, look at the detail. The tomato soup. Mont Blanc. That's nice. That's pretty nice. $550. Andy Warhol signed autographed Paramount postcard framed PSA DNA painting art. It's a postcard with his signature. His signature looks different at different times. There's another one. That's less obvious. Maybe somebody would miss it at a yard sale or an estate sale. And you could grab it and sell it for $500. It's pretty cool. It's a signed postcard. Well, I just said that, didn't I? So, that's important. <laughs> signature or no signature can mean hundreds of dollars difference. Okay, there's a lot of VCD Andy Warhol Sofubi vinyl figures. Hard to find. HTF means hard to find. Wow. That's a crazy. <laughs> wow. And heads, too. Just heads. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else we need to look at. <laughs> That's so crazy. Five hundred dollars, ten dollars and fifty-five cents shipping. Maybe you'll be routing around in one of those boxes 
that they have at yard sales where they say free toys. You just be routing around and you'll see one of these. And you make money. Wouldn't that be fun? Could happen. Okay, another magazine. Andy Warhol's Interview Magazine. 1969 issue number one and number two, Rough Condition. So even Rough Condition. Uh, getting $500 for the two of them plus shipping. There's nudity on this one. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Let's just move on. <laughs> I don't want to get my video taken down for nudity. All right. We've gone through a lot of uh, expensive things. Let's find some things in our price range that a lot of us find things in, which would be, to me at least, about $35 to $100. More reasonable. Ooh, pretty. Set of six Andy Warhol Dom Perignon Champagne Crystal Wine Glasses. $89.95 plus almost $40 shipping. Let's see, any condition issues? May have slight surface scratches, but free of major damage. Comes in original box, which is flattened and folded for shipping. And will show creases. So, kind of cute. Would I buy them? No. Would I sell them? Yes. Another different, yep. If you hang around with the avant-garde crowd. Okay, there's another skateboard. Uh, this is says deck. I thought the deck was just without the wheels. What do I know? It's a Campbell Soup thing again. Used condition. Snowboard boots. I did not know there were so many things with Andy Warhol designs on them. Yeah, there's a signature too. Okay, ninety dollars plus shipping. The surface of the ankle on the right boot has been slightly scraped by the binding. Very slight and absolutely no effect on boot performance. Yep, I'm sure they are rare and hard to find. Oh, there's that banana again. I guess this one is not signed. Maybe that's why it's... Oh, well, it's signed. I, I wonder why this is so much less. Somebody might have got a really good deal. I really don't know enough about it. Okay, here's a rare Andy Warhol Campbell soup dinner plates, four, and serving bowls, two, for $95. So, uh, that would be fun if you're part of that crowd to have those bowls. That would be really fun. Everything must be in pretty good condition. There's no no uh, report of any damage, so that's good. Okay, we've got a dress. Isa London sh short-sleeved silk shift mini dress in Andy Warhol print. About a hundred bucks plus shipping. Zip in the back. Isa London. I've heard that name. That's those are good clothing. That's a good clothing brand. Any, indi any uh, condition? Worn a few times, good condition. I can tell I'm getting tired because I'm starting to mumble. So just a couple more. We'll go down a little lower in the pricing. Filter, price. Let's go down to the 35 to $50 range. Okay, Liza Minnelli live at Carnegie Hall LP. But the LP has uh, an Andy Warhol image of Liza. So a Liza Minnelli fan that also likes Andy Warhol would be in heaven with this. Thirty-five, about forty-five dollars plus shipping. Here's some more plates.
$49 for four. Block Andy Warhol, Marilyn Monroe, low ball, rock, glasses, set of four with box. Fun. There's the glasses. Pretty cool. If you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, let's do this one for the last for the last batch. Adidas 35 uh, 35th anniversary superstar Andy Warhol size 11.5 sneakers $50 plus shipping. Pretty cool. I guess it's got some basketball stars on there. I don't know much about basketball. Maybe it'll say something in the description about who's on there. I'm sure I should know, but I don't. <laughs> it's not my thing. But I'd still sell it. Oh, look at the bottom. The bottom's cool, too. That's fun. See those little details or what? You know, what make people continue liking things after many years. You know, that's why they can sell on eBay when they're old. I don't know how old they are, but, you know, when they're used for $50. Because of all the detail. Sneakers have been lightly worn, but come in the original box. Condition is pre-owned. So, pretty good. Doesn't really say, uh... Who the basketball stars are? Maybe that person didn't know either, the seller. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you found that interesting. I know I did. Um, I guess if you're in the thrift or at a yard sale or an estate sale, if you see these brightly colored kind of funky things, check them out. As they say, ugly sells. And I personally think this stuff's kind of ugly, but it's kind of interesting, too. So, um... Please give me a thumbs up for this video if you like it, and please comment if you have any information you'd like to share about Andy Warhol items, or please let me know if there's another topic you want me to cover as far as eBay sales. And thank you so much for listening, especially if you're still listening now. It's been a long, long video. <laughs> have a wonderful day. Bye.